of all, I have to ask, what's, what's with the Georgia get up? Um, I was training with them over the summer. Um, I just decided that it would be a good decision to train with them over the summer. Um, my friend from Penn is training with them over the summer, and they have a lot of people um, come to them over the summer and have them join their training program over the summer. And I think it really helped uh, my performance for this meet. What do you feel like you picked up? From, how long were you there? And yeah, what do you feel like you got from that experience? Uh, I was there for around two and a half months, I'd say, maybe like a little more. Um, and I'd say it's definitely, I'd say the training is different than 10 or like other teams have been at. Um, so it was good to get that variety in my training. Um, I definitely picked up a lot. Um, just uh, maybe like more stroke oriented, um, like uh, focusing on drills, um, focusing a lot more on separating the pull and kick um, is something I really improved on this summer. Um, originally I was just sort of like a pure just breaststroker, but I think it really helped my overall breaststroke to start doing just individual, a lot of individual breaststroke pull, a lot of individual breaststroke kicks, and that's something to really focus on there, and I think that definitely helped. Um, it was also good to just get a lot of long course training. I mean, this is the longest stretch of long course training I've done probably ever off the top of my head. And so that was definitely a great momentum going on the third, fifth, the Augsburg How do you feel like that manifested into this tonight's win? Um, well, I definitely Here's wasn't out fast. Um, that Lane was pretty evident. Right I'd say I felt more composed than normal. Even with the, the I did feel the nerves going into the first hundred. Um, and you know, it sort of, it sort of takes you back a little bit, uh, slows you down, but I definitely felt a lot more composed uh, going through that first hundred. I really felt like I knew the situation I was in, and I really knew what I had to do in the last hundred. So, um, I feel like it was a lot of doing a lot of racing stuff over the summer. Um, like knowing what I'm getting into when I'm swimming, knowing the event that you're doing, um, really, really helped. Um, in the sense of being able to come back in the last hundred and not getting nervous in the first hundred. What did it mean to you to see 207 go a best time by a second, win that race? Um, it's nice to know I'm still improving. Um, it's nice to know that the work I'm putting in over the past year, few years, years is uh, coming to fruition. And, uh, in the aqua zone. Sorry, I kind of blanked out there. Um, it's just nice to know that I'm going in the right direction. Um, sticking with some, with some of the stuff that works, taking out some stuff that doesn't work. Um, and just trying new things all the time is definitely really, um, really a core part of how I've been improving. Do you think this meet's kind of a good meet for up and comer swimmers like yourself, you know, kind of in the middle of a quad? Um, where you know, after World Championships that up and comers you know have an opportunity to kind of you know become contenders. Um, definitely. I mean, there's great competition the if you're if you're in that caliber, as I said. And I think um, this meet was perfect for me um, to sort of kind of egg me on to kind of do what I do in the last hundred. Um, it's always great to have amazing competition. Everyone in that heat, um, I definitely felt the competition um, throughout the whole race, and everyone in my heat definitely helped me perform the best of my ability. So yes, definitely. Do you want to try? And learn how to go out a little faster. Or are you gonna stick with this hang back and then go on the third fifty? Um, I've been trying to go out a little faster. Um, maybe it doesn't work all the time. Um, but I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. Um, I obviously know that going out a little faster is gonna help in the long run because there's a lot of time to be taken out there. Um, but I don't want to turn into a complete spinner because then I don't want to I don't want to take out what's been working for so long. Um, I just want to improve on what's already there in the first hundred rather than trying to add a lot of sprint stuff in. Going out 28 in the first fifty, that's just not really me. Um, but definitely improving on star work, um, improving on composure on the first hundred, sort of getting, feeling my stroke a lot faster. Um, a lot earlier into the race as well is definitely gonna help as I go along. Has there been a breaststroker that you've uh, looked up to over the years that you know, has been you know, established that's kind of motivated you or inspired you? Um, obviously, all of the American breaststrokers over the past years have inspired me. 
Um, I'd say I like, definitely am a second hundred summer and a 200 breast, so um, I'd say I sort of split it like a Stokely Cook or a Chuck Cobb. Um, so those have been people that have been very like, that I've been kind of watching because they kind of like, I sort of emulate what they do, whether it's, I mean, they don't emulate I sort of do what they do, but it's not because of them. It's just what I do. So it's been nice to see how they improve and go over the course of the years. But um, I'd say when I started to uh, take notice in this is when I saw, I think it was 2016, the Olympic trials. Is when I jumped, you know, came back on everyone that was 50. Um, and I think that's what sort of started. I mean, I've, been, I've always been sort of a backup swimmer. That's just been me. I've always been a backup swimmer. Um, but I think that race is the first one I really saw and sort of um, internalize it in terms of the universe. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.